heard of lines at gas stations in some parts of the country. But in and around Port of Spain, people were taking more precautionary steps rather than panic buying gas. I'm not really that worried, but um, I'm just being cautious because I believe the government will have things in place you know, to get even soldiers or whoever, you know, to think the tank, but I'm not taking any chances, you know. It's better be safe and be sorry, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I'm, I'm not taking any chances yeah, at all. So you're filling up for yeah, the, um, yeah, filling up today. Before the rush starts, before the rush starts. This businessman was filling up his tank for the long weekend, but expressed concern that the strike action could wreak havoc on the economy. Well, certainly I'm worried because, I mean, the implications of, of one is no gas. The second, if they're going to take people from offshore, that's going to affect the amount of, of oil production and the price of energy. The energy price is already low. So it's going to have a really bad effect, further effect on our economy, which is, will lead to our detriment. I mean, with already the foreign exchange shortage, I'm a businessman also, and uh, we are seeking real hell right now to get foreign exchange. So all of this will just worsen the conditions, um, the things of delivery of goods and services. This man says citizens are already suffering and said government needs to find the right people who can find solutions. First to begin, I think our Prime Minister is supposed to put Mr. Mariano wrong in charge and let him deal with the people involved in this thing. And there's some serious people dealing with it. You know? But they're going to have a serious impact on everybody. I mean, things are the union have to understand now that people you know, struggling here now and to, to go and put that pressure on the country right now at this point in time, I don't think it's necessary. This taxi driver says he does not mind if the union strikes, but they should not frustrate the population. It will affect every single body. But right now I work north south and the price I come from south and north is $17. And right now most of the taxi drivers that I know, faithful taxi drivers, consistent taxi drivers, we are saying that we can't raise the price because Although it might be affecting the government, we can't affect the passengers, which is the consumers then. Before recession, no work, some of them just getting by day by day. Anxiety is already building that a strike by Petron workers could spur panic buying, long lines at gas stations, and a possible fuel shortage. Melissa Dasroth for C News.